Alléluia. 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 12.50 is the time. Let me thank God for the opportunity given to us. You see, only God gives life. That we are seated here, it is just God. And please don't take it for granted. It is not a right. It is grace. And so I want to return the glory to God. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me celebrate all those who put this program together. The Lord will continue to strengthen you. Amen. The host, the Lord will strengthen you. Amen. Uh, you see, I think it was yesterday I was talking to someone, a pastor in, I, do, I won't mention the church, but the Pentecostal church. And we, we went to university together. I was the student union, uh, Christian union president at that time. You know, president is a powerful thing, you know. <laughs> Very powerful. So, but now he's a pastor in one event, but I don't want to. Are we, are we on live? Yes, okay. Just let me not mention the name of the church. And we got talking and he said, when they had their minister's conference, he said, one million and three ministers, pastors all over the world registered. Through their app. So they have to meet it in sessions. You understand? Because there's no venue as of today in the world that can accommodate that number. Then I came in, I did a small survey. We were about 15 here, minus here. So in all, less than 20. Supposing the pastor was there. He was here, uh, August Kony. If he's here today, again, three months after, I want to give you an announcement. Oh, my God. I thought I was wrong. <laughs> if I don't talk about August, why should you kill me? Let us also assume that he's coming and said, I want to appoint new HOD, new secretary, new deputy, new regional, new this, and those who come, I'm going to pick from them. What do you think, Wab? We have missed it. We have missed it. I can see. I mean, too, the whole lot of one and the whole lot of one by announcement. You're so better. And you listen to me too, so. Hallelujah. Why am I saying this? And please, I don't mean any harm or disrespect to anybody. But I'm just trying to let us see that we give honor to shadows more than the substance. The Lord will save his church. Amen. 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 Amen.
the church we find ourselves in, a church that was descended for just one purpose. What's the purpose? Nati. To gather seedless heaven what? To gather them. Everything in this church, once it's not channeled towards that, it's not of God. Be a shekwe, be a bad we go for law, kishekwe. Be a bad kojo, be a bad we let be for law, kishejo. I told them last week, you know that we go and join them more and more. You get them more, I don't. Emi mi no so kale fi o koru ton i ton shu emi mo lo ton mo le bi mo le o basi ki se jo o ti di ho association of ijebu ijesha ipebu olo ma so to adi we in essence what i'm trying to say is that i want to appreciate those who give out their self to this community I was speaking with that last last week and I said, when I saw the passion, the way people walked, I said, oh, I wish this is how everybody works. Not for position, not for glory, not for fame, but just for the kingdom. The Lord will reignite his light in us in Jesus' name. Amen. I have battled with this ever since I walked in here. Before God and man, 3 a.m., God showed me a vision. Because I've been praying, speak to me. And I saw a shepherd. In fact, two shepherds that I know very well in this United States. And one of them was singing Elijah. But he was singing it in a very low voice. And leading people like this. So I was not moving. Why are they singing this song? Definitely they want to go and bury this song. Move very near. As I was going, as I was going, as I was going. Because the pastor did. I'm away. Preparing for someone is one thing. God speaking is another thing. As I was going, and I thought to where they were doing before that. I saw the picture of that person. I hold that. Any of me wants so for me. Ah, we should mistake. Only Moshe should share your name or name or name. The problem. Bonjour, Paris, tis a lefou, Muslim not to shift. Bonjour, Paris, Babala will not to shift. Now that takes me to today's summer. I'm going to be a minimum so. Me will fit me. Me will tomorrow, shall we learn tomorrow? Ha! Hallelujah! Did I interpret? No. You are the one interpreting now. Ha! He, who, interpretation. But the only thing to move out of the way, O Konshi she, she won't lie in me no more. Let us pray, Jehovah. Jesus Christ, Holy Mike, turn my life for you. O Koni for you, God. You got Jesus. Hallelujah. I am asked to speak on beware of things that put off fire. Fire extinguishes. The theme is Yara. And my interpretation is Kindle 
Based on the song, if I'm right. Please, let me quickly say this. Do you believe that in the beginning, the fathers told us that Jerry, we have no sin there. Yahweh Sarah, nothing there is. Finding starts with Yara Sarah at the beginning. The Constitution says bowing down came in 1954. Meaning at that time, don't go to see bowing down. Why is God saying start with light? Because if you don't have the light, you cannot fix your life. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, verse 2. The Bible says, in the beginning, Abi? Shetim Kafu, Kia Kia. Eti, take it, take it, move. Genesis chapter 1. Go see God on the screen. In the beginning. God created the heaven. God created the heaven and the earth. And the, earth. And, the earth was without form. and it was without form and void. And, void. and darkness and void. was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon. In the beginning, there was darkness. God could not make anything. Creation started with what? Now, as we light this, you see, our church, yes, only that they be, I need a lot of demonstration, you know. But those things are ways by which God is communicating to us. Or better still, a way by which he's explaining things that we need to know in heaven on earth. Most of what you can get the two bank twenty by me, what I'm can't get here no. Abi, meaning cut time, what the fool you want? Because only those who have the light are in service that day. Listen to me. Kishi go kwento wase se bosi yombo. I teach in the parish every time. I was so little when Papa came. And this is what I tell people. I have a song. It's about, maybe you remember that now. I think it's about 13 now. I started playing organ at seven. I see so much of me in that hall. If you go and watch the regular service, you won't know tell them. And one day, at about seven, I'm going to walk out of my mom. Imagine so. Imagine so. Okay. I was just about that age when the founder came one day to the Sunday school and he said something. He said, The moment there is Yarama, Yarama, he said, The plane leaves. Wait, wait, can you show me? When you have Yarasara, you will have everything you need to fly. Hallelujah. Church explanation. In 737, it talks about stanza 4. So, what do I mean? First answer. Yes.
Isaiah chapter 6, verse 2. So, I'm going to go on there. Who is my nigga? I'm going to go to the other way. Hallelujah. And so, we are in a program where we are talking about kingdom of darkness. I want to show the parable. Babe. Which one has to say? Now, what am I trying to first establish on the thing before I go to the topic? Is that Sharia more easy? The king, one of those who sang so many hymns in Celeste Church, Mama Tai Adini. I was speaking with her on my way here. And she was telling me every hymn came to solve a problem. She sang over 50 hymns. Which one are you? Babe. Every hymn was descended to solve a problem. Yara Sara was descended to solve a problem. What's the problem? They told me, oh, Kukuti Bo. Hallelujah. I pray for somebody here. Every darkness in our path, the light we are receiving today will destroy it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have been here for three days. Luke chapter 13, 32. He said, On the first day, I drive out evil spirits. On the second day, I do healing. And on the third day, I will do a perfect work. Today, the light. Who perfect our healings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Things that kill the spirit. I will speak on three things. And I'm done. Number one. James chapter one. Verse 15. James chapter one. Kusi bushi gato ni noemi. Bin kome da iba wa You are finished. James chapter one. Verse 15. New Testament, New James 1. Yes. He said, then, when lust is conceived. When lust is conceived. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. When it is finished. When it is matured. The first thing I want to touch is lust. Everything starts with lust. In First John chapter two, verse twelve to sixteen, waiting for all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, the eyes, and the pride of life. When you look at lust. In his total entity. You will see that even when you are walking in it, if you are not careful, you will not know. And it don't sharpen. Bunuti Bebe. She be lost in one. And it don't jali. Bunuti Bebe. Hallelujah. And it don't bend in KGJ. Bunuti Bebe. Is it any any go go to do ni to fetch that? See, Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came, Jesus came. See, my boy, Baba Yesa, fresh, boy. Lost. 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 The fall of Adam. Genesis chapter 3. The wife said, Look at conversation between the devil and the wife. So the way you look at this fruit, it is good to thee. Listen, book 
wo ise to n da ti mi da ibi to tin bere ni mo emi to think that keep killing the spirit of god the fire of god in us is lost when i started i said it that if pastor was to come back now three months after or four months after for anointment this person will feel she be by that anointment e ko ri jo yin wo abi se ko ko we all know that more than our soul and why why are we even knowing that come about to say me abi come about to fell ali bi Oh my God! We are going to do lost after. See, John the Baptist, my brother Allah Baptist, when he was preaching, I was so moved because that's the sermon I made. I took down notes. John the Baptist, you know one thing that happened with John. Like he said, Jesus said, "Amongst all, he's the greatest." Abi, do you know that John the Baptist was the one that baptized Jesus? Do you know that in that baptism, the Bible says a voice was heard. Abi, this is my in whom I want to say this and confirm. John had that voice too. He had it. Okay, I thank God for your confirmation. But do you know that when John fell into trouble? When he fell into trouble, what happened? He said, please go and ask him. You know what I want you to take note? The answer Jesus gave him. Oh, sorry. The answer Jesus sent to him through his disciples. You know it was his disciples he sent. Turn your Bibles with me. Matthew chapter 11. I want somebody to read verse 2 to 10. 11. I'm talking about lost. Now, hmm. when John appeared in the prison in the works of Christ, mm -hmm. he, sent two of his disciples he sent two of his disciples. Yes. See, somebody who saw, who heard, who had the encounter, who had a conviction. Father, forgive me if that is a sin, because I believe he had a conviction. Okay. Who was part of it? That same person is now asking question when he was in trouble. Do you know trouble can make you to fall? Yes. Or do we ask for another person? Jesus answered. Jesus answered and said, Go and tell him. The things you have seen. Uh huh. The blind has received. The lame has been walking. Lepers are also cleansed. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Please underline that in your Bible. Which verse is that? He said, Blessed are those who take no offense in me. Show me what to. Jamie, the problem we have today is I'm causing her away. That's the problem we have today. Because of lust. Yes. 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 Somebody came to me from Nigeria. He was made the chairman of an harvest. And he spent so much money on the harvest. So, and you know Nigeria, chairman of harvest is not like chairman we have here in America, where everybody is supporting. The chairman is almighty. He must buy a cow. He must take the bulk of the expense. You know what I'm talking about, right? This man did everything. He spent so much money, musical night. I don't know whether it was Ankara night or not. I don't know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After spending so much, three months after, he lost his job. Everything went wrong. 
So he came to America and he brought it. And God opened my eyes into the following things. Number one, First Peter chapter 5, verse 5 to 6. You see, when you are doing anything in church, it should not be for show business. I'm talking about us. Don't do it so that they will say that. When people start affirming things of the world to establish your personality in God, you are beginning to have a problem. Don't spend for showbiz. Don't act for showbiz. Number two, Act of Apostle, chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. Ananias and Sapphira, we are, we are familiar with that. Don't spend to impress the shepherd. Don't spend to impress people in the church. There was a time. There was a time. Am I lying? That is done in a secret way. Number three, Matthew chapter six, verse two. When you spend, I stop this in my parish. People will be bringing thanks offering, and they will put the tray down, and they will go and to the choir and say, "Eba, did you come to the Lord and they start spraying money?" They do that in others too. Abi? If you want your long day, you want to enter your long day, if you long day, one of you are doing one day in your car. Put the vacation in here. I'm talking to everybody. And that is Matthew chapter 6, verse 4. We say, when you do it, do it in the secret. That that house may be in secret. Yes. And thy father which in secret. The person that sees in secret shall reward thee openly. That is it. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 2. He said, Therefore, yes. When, thou dress thy house, when you do your hand, do not sound, don't let thing. everybody see. I was, I, 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 I was away for like six weeks in church. And they said, You should please stop going out. The income is nose diving. I said, Okay, because of that, I'll start going out. <laughs> and he said, Why? I said, Are they contributing money because of you? You want to impress. See, I have said it times without number. I don't groom followers, I don't need us. If you are a shepherd that is grooming followers, you will have a problem. Because all you want is everybody attracted. That is lost. That is the pride of life. Let me say this the loss of the eyes, the loss of the flesh, and the. If you want a condition. Who are you? <laughs> Who is you? <laughs> Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter seven, verse five. When you bring unclean money to God. I preached this sermon one day in the church. As I look him, I said, Oh, you should write a machine for you. Defraud ye not one the other, 
When I was in the north of Nigeria, there used to be a lady. I just noticed every time she comes to church, how many people she has seen me. She did you want to go for me? To buy one Wednesday, I just see. To buy one Sunday, I just see. To buy one Friday, I just see. What is the problem? This thing needs attention. You know what I came to understand? She was a prostitute. And she can't believe that to go to the way or to clean that you wore. You see, you see foolishness? I'm sorry. Ah, she shared for a common. To be the new atomoa. Oh, that day. I'm panoe me on love, and then you'll love. Oh, I will call you. And then on the lost, let me round up on that before I go to this next point. When you deliberately do things to oppress the needy in the church, the cry of those needy will take up their heart. Never look down on anybody. And it will be good day going, or don't need to buy by a See, I've come to realize, and it was so, but I can. It's a bad issue. That's why I got best messages. Me but I be a bad boy. That ten to to twelve. We are not this year. I never know I'm a sorrow. I no pull it to you. Ah, go buy any more flour. You go. It's a ton of people. I'm a tally. You want to hear something? I never know in me. And it too believe me. It's nobody tell you. But I want to see that bad boy. Me I go worry. Nada. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the things that has really helped me in this country is through dreams and vision. And it has been so from childhood days. Why on earth would you now look down on somebody? And he come to Jerry come as so it on that go. Ah, see there. When the father was going out that Sunday morning, um, she said when he came and said, Papa, I'm okay. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. So, Papa, I'm going to get a job. Can you go to my name? I'm going to get a job. 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 God can use anybody to talk to you. Don't look down on what makes you to look down on people is the plant of life in you. It's categorized by God as what? Lost. And so I pray today, every spirit of lost in us, because lost man, 
the Lord will drive it out in Jesus' name. Amen. My second point is disobedient to the voice of God. Deuteronomy chapter 28, we read it every time. Verse 1. And look at Only if thou shalt. shall come to pass. Screen, please. It shall come to pass. If thou shalt act diligently. If thou shalt act diligently. Show to what? Let me screen. Uh huh. Unto the voice of the Lord. Unto the voice of the Lord our God. To observe. See. And, and to do all his commandments. Hallelujah. Two things make a word. The voice and the meditation. It must be conceived in your mind before you use the voice to bring it out. It was like, no. Now, the Bible says, if you diligently akin to the voice of God. See, one thing that also kills the spirit and the light of God in you is disobedience to the voice. In the book of Genesis chapter 3, when God was to pronounce his judgment on Adam, I think verse 16, when, only because you are or you listen to the voice of your wife, John, Chapter 10. Only, only, only my sheep know my voice. Ah, I want to go. Hold on, friend. We'll get a babada. Babada, babu, we're not standing. We're calling you. What's your point? Ah, ah, ah. Hallelujah. Voice. Listen, I'm also we Bible no survey, but interpretation is different. Uh, that uh, when a sheep is lost, you have to leave everything to go. Father's house. Genesis chapter 12. 
verse 1. He gave him three conditions. Attach seven blessings to it. Tiobapro. Get out of your country. One. Kindred. Two. Father's house. Three. When you go out, I will give you seven blessings. Read verse two. Shall we? Number one. Great nation. Number two. Bless you. Number three. Cause them that cause you. Four. In this shall all families of the earth be blessed. Four. Uh -huh. Continue. Oh, one means one more. Everybody has two. There are seven blessings there. And I will bless them to bless thee. Uh -huh. I will make you a great nation. Verse 2. Make it two. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. One. One. Two. And make thy name three. Great. Uh -huh. Short of it is that we know the story. When Abraham was to pick Isaac, he did not go back to God. We know that. The wife wrote a suggestion. The first mistake he made was that he went with Lot. Hallelujah. Because of her fear, see, Yara Sarah. As the Lord told me, it's about you being separated. It's about separation. See, at the point you are holding the candle and you are coming in, is the candle, not really the candle that matters now. It's just a, a physical significance of something. And you are coming in, the Lord I expect you to be transformed and translated and separated. It is not the time to say, hey, Opa, oh, hey, one nation. It is not that time again. Your absolute concentration is what? Is needed. The problem failed. Next. I once did one test one day in the church. On a Tuesday prayer session, we normally have a Tuesday, 7 to 8. And I said, let everybody face the back of the church. I said, what's the color of the altar cloth? Then where's your concentration? Not because it's the altar that is answering your prayer also, but but it means that your concentration is not full. It means there is a dead thing you want to complete in Lekki that is in your mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God told the plan to go out, go out, get out for a purpose so that your concentration will be what? Don't take anything along. Do you know that the father was the one God first told? Yes. Genesis chapter 11, Terah. He said, leave the whole of the challenge and moved. He stopped in Haran. Genesis chapter 11, go and read it. Do you know that Haran is in between the promised land and the whole of Chaldeans? He got to Haran, he got comfortable, and he said today, and he died there. Some of us are still in our comfort zone. Am I talking to anybody? Show me more than the light of some of us is more than where we are now. But because that is a comfort zone for us as at now, we don't want to move. But God himself will take us to the next level in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, if you look at it, Moses did the same thing to the voice of God. God told him, stretch the rod. And you know what Moses did? When you disobey the voice, the consequences is always there. Because if you will not, see, the Bible defined Moses as the meekest man on earth. 
The Bible defined Moses as the one who saw the bad view. No other person. I may be wrong. You are Bible scholars, you know better than I do. But with his level of closeness, because he disobeyed the God, God said, I'm not getting that blue. We will not miss it in the name of Jesus. The voice of God. The wedding of Cana Galilee, John chapter 3, go ahead, maybe chapter 2 or 3. The Bible says, Mary came to Jesus and said, Their wine is finished. Have it? In verse 3, look at the response Jesus gave her. Read it for me. Verse 3. John, chapter 2. How many minutes more? No, whoa, 12 50 more, baby. How many minutes? Okay, six minutes. Okay, I'll be done in five minutes. Yes? Jesus said unto her. Jesus said unto her. Woman. Woman. <laughs> See, if that was my money, Jesus will receive us now. For you to say, woman, to your biological. Irrespective of your age, she's 87, she was this now. But you know what? The woman was not offended in that statement. She was more concerned about what she wants to receive. You call us said unto the servant, whatsoever is said unto you. Do it. Some of us don't go to church to receive. Some of us don't go to churches, we don't preach shepherds today because of Yes or no? Yes. 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 Whatever anybody has said about you. Whatever. I have I have a lot of recordings. Don't send it to me. It's bang over time. You know what I'm saying? You see that? You see that? I just laugh. Why? Because. Any two pairs in it in Petro's way. Oh, my bong bong bong, I jealous of me. Is that enough for you not to greet that person? Is that enough not to go to church again? No. Please don't be distracted. Because the, whatever God has told you, you have a responsibility to what? Follow. The voice of God, God does not play with it. George Oloba Sofwen, stand up. To stand, to sit, listen to me. You will not say any other thing until you go back to that instruction. Which may be instruction. Let me round up with this. The third point. The first point is lost. The second point is disobedience of the voice of God. The third point is beware of your influencers. Please listen to me. As we are here now, is it that we are influencing somebody or somebody's influencing us? Peter Sokopo. See, John, let us go a fish. Abi, do you know that Bato Sonny? She be just with the I will make you. That was the calling. But when trouble came, I may be wrong, but this is what I believe. Probably there was no income. Only rumble. So they needed, you know, some the hand, some cash. But okay, I'll make my decision right now. We can make money from it. He said, let us go a fish. Do you know all 
the disciples follow him? Influencers. Influencers can be positive. Influencers can be negative. The negative will kill the light. Be careful. Be careful about those sort of CNT. Listen, take it or leave it. Put it on no and ideas in the world. And that's why you cannot come to my house and hear what it is suck there. Because we can't come to my house and hear what it is if I come to your house, I go into your car, I go to your office, and I take a census of your songs, I can tell who you are. If I check your library and I read, I can tell who you are. Beware of influencers because they are spiritual killers. And then on this note, I want to end. And I will ask us to pray in the next one minute. Please, growth is no more luxury. You have to keep growing. And one of the ways by which we can grow is what we are doing now. When there is no growth, there will be stagnation. And when there is stagnation, I want you to see dog bone see. Everything you want to move better. Any poo, toku, senensu. Allowances. Please stand up and let us do just this one prayer. Just this one.